What's up my people? Today I'm going to show you guys a tutorial on how I make vegan rose chai. So stay tuned. So first we're going to add one teaspoon of dried chai leaf and then an equivalent amount of rose scented black tea. And then you want to add just a dash of cinnamon. And before we boil the water, I am going to mix all the ingredients in using this frother, but you can use anything to try to get the ingredients to settle in together. Wow, look at that! And then you just wait for it to heat until it is the color of your soul. And then stop, and now you begin cooling it. And a way to expedite the cooling process is by using a frother once again to take out all that extra steam that's hiding below. Now to prep the glass, I'm going to use organic blue agave and spread it around the glass as evenly as I can. And once I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and add some ice. Yes, those are Batman-shaped ice cubes. Why? <coughs> Because I'm Batman! And then I'm going to add extra creamy Chobani oat milk, which actually tastes better than most vegan creamers out there. And finally, add the chai on top. And then use the frother one last time to finally mix it in. And this Indian tea is a really good complement with Indian food. So what I made here is vegan roti with vegan butter, Burfi, pickled mango, and mangoes. Boom. Anyways, I'm gonna get to eating my food. That's all I got for you guys today. If you wanna select the topic of your choice, be sure to check out my Patreon, and I'll see you guys next time, my friends. Chaos out.